I have a story about a boy. His name is Henry. Henry is a friendly boy who goes to my school when I was a junior high school student. I met Henry when I was in grade 7. I saw some of my classmates punch him and say, Crazy people are not allowed to study here! Henry is a special child because he was born less than a month. And from that day on, I was able to be with Henry even though we were not in the same class because everyone he met, if he was not pushed, he would be kicked. He was even slapped once more. But even so, he always smiles as if he thought he had no care. Weird, right? But that's how he approaches everything. Even he's hurt or he's not happy, he's still smiling. And when we were in grade 8, we were not classmates again. But we always wait for him after his subject so we could eat together. One time, we heard their teacher who is also our teacher who said, Why do you study here? Now, I'm the one who is having a hard time. There is a school for you. Why are you here? Mentally ill, people should not associate with people who think normally. We felt the pain, and he just smiled while the teacher scolded him. Every day, he goes through that situation. Even outside of the school, he is still teased that he is crazy. And the day came when we were in grade 9 after our second grading. Someone pushed him down the stairs. We found out late when his mother went to our school to say that Henry would not be coming anymore. And from that moment, we never saw him again. We are all humans. We all have the same rights. We are all breathing the same air. We are all sleeping under the same moon. The only thing that makes us different from others is our looks, the way we think, the racial status and the economical status. But no matter what our differences, we are all still humans created by God. And even if you think better or properly than others, but you treated them badly, now who do you think is a problem? If your physical looks may be better than others, doesn't mean that you need to treat them differently. What will you feel if you are in their condition and you get treated like the way you treated them? It wasn't a good idea, right? So treat them right before... Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world, which is why we need to prioritize education for everyone. Inclusive systems provide a better quality education for all children and are instrumental in changing discriminatory attitudes. Schools provide a context for a child's first relationship with the world outside their families, enabling the development of social relationships and interactions. Respect and understanding grow when students of diverse abilities and backgrounds play, socialize, and learn together. Special education also helps enable students to grow to their fullest potential by providing a free, appropriate, public education designed to fit their unique and special needs. Promote. Promote. Promote.